As a result of the climate problem, torrential rain is slashing Pakistan's largest city. Pakistan often experiences heavy rains from July through September, but experts say the rains have only increased in both frequency and intensity. The rapidity of these events is increasing, and our response is not keeping pace. We are being reactive to individual events. Strategies need to be put in place. Pakistan's climate change minister Sherry Rehman issued flash flood warnings for residents in more than 14 cities and townships. On Sunday night, more than 16 millimeters of rain fell in Karachi, equivalent to an entire month's worth of rainfall in just a matter of hours. Public services in Pakistan's largest city, Karachi, have been suspended and businesses are being urged to close as torrential rains cause deadly flashing flooding and infrastructure damage, leaving at least 15 dead since Saturday. For several months every summer, Pakistan struggles to contend with heavy monsoon rains. But in recent years, experts say climate change is accelerating existing weather patterns. Since the monsoon season began last month, more than 300 people have been killed by heavy rains across Pakistan, according to its National Disaster Management Authority. In Karachi, capital of Sindh province, and home to almost 16 million people, entire neighborhoods have been partially submerged. Photos show people wading knee-deep in muddy flat water, with vehicles left stranded by the deluge. Infrastructure, including bridges, highways, and roads, have been damaged, disrupting traffic and upending the lives of millions across the city. Many have stocked up on fuel for their generators in case of power outages. Afia Salem, a climate change advocate in Karachi, said that climate change is a threat. We are a coastal city. It's happening so fast, and we won't bear the brunt. People need to see the situation beyond individual events. Like a bridge falling or a road getting flooded. This is BBS News. Thank you, and see you in the next videos.